Hi, I'm Dr. J.C. Coots. I'm at St. Joe's Hospital in Hamilton, St. Joseph's Healthcare, and I am a pathologist. Well, it's nice to be asked that question. I think uh, generally pathologists don't get a lot of um, publicity. When they do, it's usually negative. And uh, basically, uh, what our job is, is to look at the patient at the tissue level. So instead of looking at a patient from head to toe in a physical exam or, or using some um, larger instruments, we are looking at the patient, but we're looking at their tissues, so at the microscopic level. And it's uh, the technique that we use is very traditional. It's been this way for probably over 100 years, where basically we take sections of tissue and look at them under the microscope with stains. And the reason why we still uh, do it this way is it's still the most um, efficient, quickest, cheapest, fastest way to make a diagnosis. Last year I looked at about three to 4,000 patients. So probably much more than um, what you would consider a clinician w would look at. Uh, but we're looking at areas of tissue, so I can look at several hundred in a week, which is normal for me. A frozen section now, which is basically where we make a diagnosis uh, of the tissue, but it's done in a uh, within a few minutes. And this is required because we have someone who's under anesthetic and needs the diagnosis immediately. So the patient is waiting in the operating room under yeah. anesthetic. And what we do in the meantime is prepare the tissue to look look at the slide. And this is done through a technique called frozen section. And we do quite a few of these every day at St. Joe's for different types of surgery. In this case, this patient has a history of melanoma, and we're going to be making sure that the melanoma that's on the skin has been taken out um, entirely or as, as best as possible, and we have to do this uh, by looking at sections immediately. So this is a piece of skin, I believe, from the nose. actually lets us see under the microscope whether or not if we do see abnormal cells the ink of course is only at the surface so it's at the edge where the surgeon has cut so we paint and we use something called acetone which dries the ink now, just with a regular scalpel, I cut it into little pieces. Of course, taking note that the specimen has an orientation to it. It has a left and a right side, so that if there is an area that's involved, we can go back if we have to, and the surgeon can take a little bit more from that area. So when a pathologist is on call, this is one of the main activities, is doing these so-called frozen sections. So. And the reason we have to freeze the tissue is just like if you try to slice a piece of bread very, very thinly, um, it's too soft. It be all mushy, but if you actually froze the bread solid, you could actually get very, very thin slices. You see the tissue is frozen at minus 20, so that's enough for the tissue to be hard enough. Now, if you went more than minus 20, what happens is then it starts to become like ice, where it would fracture if you tried to freeze it. So the temperature is very important. You want it cold enough to be able to cut thin sections, but not too if you cut it too cold, it will basically shatter like glass. So you need a very precise temperature. So probably this machine, you know, it's probably about what, 75,000? Oh, I don't know, at least. For lung cancer,
cancer, um, what we typically do is, um, as you know, the lung lobes are attached by the bronchus. So the bronchus is kind of the trunk which is attaching each of the lobes. So when the surgeon cuts off a lobe, they will ask us for the bronchial margin. So they will ask for a section of the margin through the bronchus to see that there's no cancer at that line. Because if there is, they need to be cut a little bit further up. So usually um, for lung cancer surgery, we do what are called bronchial margins. And those are also done by frozen. That's when the, the pathologist becomes involved um, in the diagnosis of, of cancer at the point where the biopsy is taken and it, it comes to our lab and we uh, process it uh, so that we can look at it under a microscope slide and I use very simple um, H&E stain which is our standard uh, histological stain for tissue and we basically can tell morphologically looking at the tissue whether it's malignant or not. Sometimes it's not straightforward so sometimes for example uh, the sample is really skimming the edge of the tumor. It's not going right in the center. So what happens is sometimes we get just a few cells, maybe just two or three, that raises our suspicion of cancer, but we're not 100% sure. That can sometimes happen. Most of the time it's pretty definitive, though, we're able to tell. So then uh, when we've made the, dis the uh, diagnosis of lung cancer, we then have to go into what type it is because the type will determine the prognosis and what is the best treatment for the patient.